Britain's poorest are likely to get another hit from the Treasury chief who's trying to rein in spending. Millionaire George Osborne wants to freeze welfare payments for two years. RT's Polly Boyka has the story. It's areas such as this one, London's Torriano estate, that have been bearing the brunt of the British government's austerity drive. Already, more than one in four children here in the UK live in poverty, and sadly that figure is only predicted to increase. Even so, the coalition government says that they need to slash £10 billion off of the welfare bill in order to cut national debt by 2015. Now, the British Chancellor, George Osborne is reportedly considering freezing working age benefits in order to hit that target. We're already talking about uh, groups of people who are squeezed, are struggling, um, have had their living standards affected over the last couple of years because of uh, what's happened in the, in the global economic environment um, and what's been happening closer to home. Um, and if this change or something like it were to go through, we would see those living standards uh, further affected for the worst. At the moment, welfare payments are linked to inflation, and that is increasing much faster than wages. Back in June, Prime Minister David Cameron said that it's unfair that the earnings of the people that do work in the UK are increasing much more slowly than the benefits of the 8% of the British population that is currently out of work. Now, analysts see another group being dragged into this, and that's the so-called squeezed middle earners that are currently struggling with the increasing costs of food, fuel and clothing. Almost 7 million working adults here in Britain struggle with the basic cost of living and it's areas such as these where the trickle-down effect of stretched pay packets and a benefits freeze are going to be most devastating.